What's going on YouTube? So today I want to take you through a full day of eating. Uh, I'm going to show you everything I eat in a day to get lean, shredded, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so currently I'm eating 2,500 calories a day. Uh, I'm eating five meals a day. I'm not fast or anything, which I've done previously. Actually, my diet is kind of modeling that of Greg Doucette. If you guys know who he is, um, most of you I'm sure you do. If you don't, go check him out. Greg Doucette, really good channel. He talks about um, low calorie, high dense foods, keep you full. So when you're fasting, you feel more hungry. So I've been doing that for about a week. I'm gonna be doing that throughout my entire cut. I'm gonna do a full video review on the diet once I've done more of it and uh, once more results have come from the diet. But so far it's been really good, but I'm gonna take you through everything I eat, show you how I make it. I'll put the macros on the screen. You guys can follow the same type of approach. So yeah, let's get into meal one. Good morning, everyone. So. We're gonna have breakfast right now, and uh, this is something I personally have fallen in love with. Again, I got it from another channel, Greg Doucette, uh, which a lot of these meals actually kind of inspired or come from him. But this is just French toast or anabolic French toast. Um, it's really good, it's actually really easy to make. So we have all our ingredients right here. Uh, let me just grab a fork real quick just for the whisking. All right, so first, I already weighed out uh, 300 grams of egg whites. Guys, I know these look yellow and they look like regular eggs, but these are just egg beaters, they're cholesterol free. They're just, they're just trying to make them look like real eggs because they didn't have the regular egg whites in the store. So I got this, next best thing, but it is zero fat, same macros as egg whites. And then next, we are gonna add some vanilla extract. Gives it more of a, uh, I don't know, it gives it more of like a sweet, kind of bakery taste. We're gonna throw that in there. And then also, we're going to add the Splenda, which I just had and I don't know where it went. Found the Splenda, my bad. Uh, so we're gonna throw in the Splenda in here. Boom, just gonna give it a little more sweetness to make it taste just a little more nice. All right, so now we're gonna whisk this baby up. Perfect. And now the only thing we need is some allspice. Usually a lot of people use cinnamon. I like to use allspice, which just is, um, it's nutmeg and cinnamon. I kind of like the nutmeg taste in here as well. So I'm just gonna put a couple of dashes in, like so. Whisk that around again. Get our delicious egg whites ready to be dipped. And then you're just going to be using a regular white bread. This is actually 70 calories to slice, most are 80, but this one's even 70, so perfect for French toast. Tastes really good, so let's dip these and then start cooking. Alright, ladies and gents, we're just gonna take some bread out now. Turn this sucker on, and then we're just gonna start dunking them. Really, I mean, this is a lot of eggs here, so really make sure the bread absorbs as much as possible. Because obviously you wanna get the most out of the egg whites. And uh, obviously, of course, spray the pan down with some pan. Most calories spray out there. And then, that looks pretty soaked. And we're just gonna Toss it on like so. All right, so I'm gonna make this. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at the end. So uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. So one more trick is uh, when your French toast is toasted, uh, take the rest of the eggs you have, so I have a little bit left in here, as you can see. It kind of just, Drizzle it on top so it soaks in. Your French toast will be extra fluffy and you get to utilize all of your eggs. So just make sure you do that to get all of your protein in because that's honestly the most important thing when cutting is getting enough protein in your meals. So the egg whites are definitely a big contributor to that. So, all right. 
see I got the finished product right here. Doesn't that look so good? It is that good, trust me, give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna put the macros on the screen now. Um, and also topped it up with some Weldon Farms pancakes here. I use Weldon Farms a lot, calorie free, really good. And then I put half a banana on top as well. So that's gonna be meal number one. Guys, for meal two, we have just some Greek yogurt, uh, plain fat free, this is one cup. Um, I'm actually gonna add some cucumber in there, which is practically no calories. Um, and I just prefer that I like the taste of the cucumber with the yogurt, but you can actually, I know most people don't like the, like the flavor of plain Greek yogurt, which makes sense. It doesn't taste like the best. So you can also just get some Weldon Farm sugar-free syrup, some Splenda, something sweet in there, mix it up. It's calorie-free and actually kind of tastes like, like a really good, like, uh, creamy frozen yogurt type of deal actually once you do that. And then I'm also just gonna have an apple with this. And I'll put the macros on the screen for this meal. And uh, this is also my pre-workout meal. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym uh, within like half an hour after eating this. So I'll see you guys at the next one. Alrighty, ladies and gents. So like I said, I got access to a nice little hotel marina gym. So I've been doing workouts there. Um, so I'm gonna go over the workout. So the first thing I'm gonna do is like a slight incline, eccentric, accentuated dumbbell press, essentially. Just going a little slower on the way down to make the weight harder, uh, so I get more of a resistance um, with the dumbbells, because they only go up to 75 pounds, so by slowing them down, I get into that eight to 10 rep range, uh, which I wanna hit. Uh, gives me a chance to go a little heavier than I normally would. And uh, you know, you really get that nice time under tension um, because you know, honestly you're going for like 40 to 60 seconds per set so you're pretty dead by the time it's done but that's the first exercise and then next we are getting getting into some pull-ups guys I'm just doing neutral grips today um, you know you can always change this up you can do wide grip you can do a pronated supinated grip pull-ups uh, so you can do Honestly, whatever floats your boat, it's all gonna develop the back in a similar way. I personally like to switch between a neutral grip and a wide grip. Um, so today I decided to do a neutral. Uh, make sure you lock at the bottom when you do your pull-ups. A lot of people, I used to be guilty of this too, where I used to go down and you know kind of stop halfway through so I wasn't getting the full range of motion. And it also makes it a lot easier. You think you do a lot more until you actually lock out. You figure out how fucking hard doing pull-ups can actually be. Uh, yeah, but sometimes I'll add weight throughout the week. Today I'm doing more of a hypertrophy uh, pull up. But next we're going into just some regular cable flies. Uh, we're doing the lower version, so we're targeting the lower pec. Um, get that uh, lower area more developed. Um, I know most people try to target their upper pecs as that's the part that's usually harder to develop when uh, developing the chest. But today I wanted to do the lower because I've been doing a lot of upper cable flies and you know I don't have too much to work with in this gym pretty much for chest I just have really the dumbbells uh, you know push-ups and these cables but essentially make sure you squeeze at the top and slow down the eccentric guys the eccentric is really important uh, you're 40% stronger in your eccentric so on that way down make sure you just go nice and slow and then next <clears throat> usually I would do a row in my workout um, but my lower back's been giving me a little trouble recently so I just decided not to overdo it today. And there is no lat pull down in this gym, but I was lucky enough to have some uh, handles and put the weight all the way down. And I kind of made my own version of a lat pull down uh, machine. And you definitely, you definitely feel it when you do this. The thing is, these weights for some reason, even though it says 100 pounds, they feel extremely light. I don't know why. But what I did was, again, just really, really slow the eccentric. Look how slow I am when I bring the weight up. And that will really, really burn when you're doing this exercise. By the end, I'm telling you, I was fucking zapped. So give it a go. Uh, if you don't have a lat pull down machine or you have access to a gym, you wanna do some lat pull downs, this is perfect. And then next we're doing, you know, the standard dumbbell bicep curl. Guys, it's important to actually change um, your grip as you bring the dumbbell up. So as you can see, I start in a neutral uh, grip and then I bring it up to a supinated grip at the top So I definitely recommend that you do that honestly because your bicep head as you see it turns and it flexes as you move uh, From a neutral to a supinated grip 
So I definitely, re uh, definitely recommend you guys um, when you're performing this exercise to do the same thing because you will get much more of a contraction. And at the end, if you need to cheat a little bit to get that weight up, by all means, go for it. Don't stop. Having that little extra cheat on the bicep curl actually is beneficial, um, I believe, to maximum muscle growth in the bicep. So definitely give that a shot. What's up, guys? So just killed the workout. It was awesome. But now we got to fuel it. So, you know, got to get that anabolic window. And I did rush home for this. Just kidding. Anabolic windows don't exist. As long as you eat between two to three hours after your workout, plenty of time. But anyway, for meal three, I hope you guys like chicken Caesar wraps because that's what we're having or buffalo wraps. Actually, you can do both. Um, you can customize whatever you want. The main thing you need for the dressing is Greek yogurt. You can do anything with Greek yogurt, I swear. I'm gonna do more videos of just all the things you can do with Greek yogurt alone, because it's crazy. Uh, the plain fat-free one, by the way. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing some buffalo wraps. They taste so good. Uh, it's a little over 500 calories, but that's just because the wraps I use, I like the ones a little higher in calories. Um, I personally just think they taste better. But uh, you can get ones that are like 60 calories, guys, and it's just the same amount of volume, and it's so little calories, and it tastes so good. So let's get into it, and I'll show you everything you need. All right, guys, so this is all the ingredients we need uh, for the wraps. It's pretty simple. It's not that many, and it's actually pretty affordable. I mean, you can get this stuff cheap anyway. It tastes so good. So first, we just have some basic regular-ass romaine lettuce, some wraps. This ones are, what is this? Garlic and pesto. It tastes really good. Like I said, these are 140 calories a wrap. You can get ones with like 50, 60 calories. I actually have some that are 60. Um, I personally just prefer using these. Uh, I have the calories to work with, but if you guys want less, just go for it. Um, we have some Greek yogurt. Like I said, 0% fat free and just plain. And then we have around a 200 gram chicken breast. I will weigh it out to make sure, but you want around 200 grams of chicken. If you want more chicken for more protein, go for it. Um, I'm gonna use this whole breast, which I imagine is 200 grams. And then you're gonna need some hot sauce. This is, this is uh, optional if you like things spicy. If you don't, then don't use it. And then for the like Caesar dressing, all we need is for the seasonings, some lemon juice. I like some garlic salt, I really like garlic. And then some garlic and herb dressing. And actually Parmesan cheese tastes really good in the, um, in the dressing as well. If you want to just add a little cheese, a little more calories, that's fine. But yeah, these are all the ingredients. So let me show you how to make it. All right guys, so to make the sauce, you just get the Greek yogurt, toss it in there. This is maybe, maybe 20 or 30 calories worth of Greek yogurt. So the dressing is extremely low and it's high in protein anyway. So all the calories you get literally will be from protein, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, throw the yogurt in next. We will get our lemon juice. You could use regular lemon if you want. Squeeze that baby in there. I like a lot of lemon juice. You personally don't have to use that much. Uh, it's all preference. And then we're gonna use our Miss Dash garlic and herb. Toss some of that baby in there. And we're gonna throw in some garlic salt. Highly recommend, love garlic salt. Guys, if you like garlic and, and this dressing, I mean, man, it tastes so good, like I said. If you want more of a Caesar, -y, add some um, add some cheese to it. Some Parmesan cheese, really good. And then you kind of mix it up like so. Keep mixing it till you get a certain consistency that you want. So it's more like dressing. Mix that baby up good. There you go. And personally, I like to make it more of like a buffalo Caesar dressing. So I load it with some Frank's Red Hot. Best hot sauce out there. Definitely recommend using Frank's Red Hot. Mix that baby up. Oh yeah. And then kind of got your buffalo dressing there. A little spicy, has a little kick to it. And then, yeah, there you go. And this is maybe around 30 calories. So next we got the chicken chopped up. This is around 230 grams of chicken. Um, so a little over 200 grams, but it's okay. I want the protein anyway. And then I'm gonna season it with Montreal chicken. Uh, obviously use whatever seasoning you prefer, but this is what I like. It's really well-rounded, has really good flavor, a bunch of different seasonings in it. So if you're looking for a good seasoning, definitely go with Montreal chicken. And if you like steak, go with Montreal steak. All 
All right, guys, now we are going to grab our lettuce. So, grab one of these big sticks right here. Grab a couple of them, as much as you want. Obviously, you can add a lot of this if you want a lot of volume to fill you up more. Lettuce is great for that. And it's super low in calories. And uh, nice crunch to it and, you know, a lot of volume. So I just like to personally put two. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna add the chicken and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. All right guys, here we go. We got the chicken on there now. I'm gonna wrap it up in a sec. But before we do that, since I am addicted to hot sauce, I'm gonna put more Frank's Red Hot on here because it's just so freaking good. But yeah, again, like I said, uh, guys, uh, Frank's Red Hot does have zero calories, or at least um, per teaspoon it does. It probably does have a little bit once you keep using it, but then again, um, it's really not that big of a deal if it has a bit of calories. It's not the end of the world, uh, plus it's so minuscule. Um, so I know really with sauces like that and like sugar-free syrups, like my Weldon Farms, even though there's probably a couple, I don't count it, so relax about that. I will count the dressing I made, that's around 30 calories. Um, it's really nothing. So this is gonna be a little over 500, but I'm gonna put the macros on the screen now uh, so you guys can check it out and see if it fits yours. All right, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you at the next one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is around 9.15 and now it is time for dinner. Uh, We're gonna be having, again, low calorie, high dense meal. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a teriyaki Asian uh, stir fry mix with some ground turkey. They only had the patties, but it's kind of the same thing. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little over 500 calories. Ton, a ton of food. Uh, there's one special ingredient with the noodles. You guys gotta try it if you haven't already. They are awesome, but uh, I'll show you everything I'm gonna be cooking with, so let's get into it. All right, guys, and also, uh, I just wanted to add in, I'm about to eat a whole bowl of spinach, a uh, little appetizer for myself. Pretty much no calories in this, and I actually just put on some lemon and salt as a dressing. I actually like it, but it's just a way for me to get in my greens, and actually super, super filling, and just so good for you, so eat your greens. All right, guys, so I just want to go over the full ingredient profile. So obviously, we got our, we got our veg right here. You know, we got some onion, some broccoli, some peppers, and uh, gotta throw in some snap peas, you know what I mean? These things are fire. I just buy the frozen ones. Um, just have it for longer. Buy frozen veggies too, doesn't matter. Guys, if you wanna be more full, load up on the vegetables because they're super low in calories. They're really good for you. And they, they really do fill you up. So we got these right here. Like I said, I just had a big bowl of spinach. I'm finishing that now anyway. And then obviously, I, like I said before, we got the patties right here. Uh, this is just ground beef patties. I'm just gonna saute them and it's 93.7 uh, fat, so they're pretty lean, a lot of protein in there. Then we got the noodles, guys. These are called Miracle Noodles. Um, so this whole packet has, what is it, 160 calories or less than that? No, 140 calories per packet. Yeah, so these are really, really good, and I just highly recommend them to anyone. Uh, you can buy them in the store, you can buy the flavored ones. Uh, there's a Japanese curry, you can buy the plain, season them yourself. Um, but they taste like regular noodles. They taste good in stir fries. They're just damn good, so try them. And then I'm also gonna top it off with something called liquid aminos. I recommend anyone who likes adding soy sauce or like teriyaki type of thing to anyone, to anything I mean. Uh, these are definitely the go-to. These are zero calories, unlike soy sauce, which has 20 teaspoons. These have none, and it tastes, I mean, I can't taste the difference personally. So yeah, uh, let's cook everything up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, we got the vegetables in here and we're just throwing some of the snappies. Definitely saute up the veggies first, mix them up, season them how you like. There you go, throw the snappies on there. And now we're also gonna toss in some of the liquid amino. Put as much as you like. Obviously it has a lot of sodium. Guys, I don't really check too much for sodium. Um, as long as you drink a lot of water and do a lot of exercise and sweat, I, I don't really care that much. Personally, uh, yeah, but, you know, what's up now? All right, so next process, obviously, just to add the turkey, so we're just gonna throw two patties on there. It's actually nice using the patties if you guys wanna just buy the turkey patties because they're already weighed out for you, really. Um, obviously, they might not be 100% accurate, but I'm pretty, they're gonna be pretty accurate. So you just throw two patties on there, so. 
we'll uh, saute this up and then I'll show you what it looks like with the noodles and the end product. I'm also gonna throw on a little bit of seasoning on the turkey, flavor it up a little bit, give it a little more flavor. So probably should have seasoned it before, oh well. Um, but yeah, so that's that, we're gonna brown it up and I'll see you guys when we put the noodles in. Alrighty, so we got the noodles all whipped up here just in the microwave. Now we're just gonna toss them in the pan with everything else. And there is some flavoring in here already. So this is the Japanese curry flavor. Like I said, it's only 140 calories a packet, so you can't go wrong. And now we're just gonna mix it up. And I'll show you what it looks like when everything's all done. If I told you this whole pan was just 500 calories. Would you believe me? Probably not. Look how big that thing is. Look at my hand over that. Big ass portion, 500 calories, super high in protein, really just good for you in general. If you use chicken, just chicken breast, you'll even, it'll be under 500 calories. So great meal. Uh, so this is meal number four. Yeah, meal number four. And then I'm gonna put the macros on the screen in a sec. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll show you guys what I have for dessert. I'm gonna get one little taste test first. So, so good. I just wanna show you how big it looks on a plate. So we got this whole plate here. Let me show you that whole thing, 500 calories, a little over. Uh, I'll put the macros on the screen, like I said again before. Um, but yeah, so that's just how much you get. So definitely worth it, give this a shot. The last meal here, we're gonna have some dessert. We're gonna have some protein ice cream, and this is just what the doctor ordered. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is kind of like literally how Greg Doucette does his protein ice cream. Um, so, so good. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make it as well. It's really, really easy. Uh, just a few ingredients that you need. Uh, so yeah, so first of all, we have some ice and bananas here. We're just gonna to toss that in the blender. We got the Ninja, the, the Greg Set approved blender, so we're gonna use that. And then second, we're gonna use some almond milk. Uh, we're gonna put around half a cup in. I'm just gonna go ahead and guess it. I have a pretty good idea what half a cup is. You don't wanna to put too much because you want it to be nice and thick. Uh, if you need to add more, you can always add more later on. Just gotta touch more there. And then next ingredient, Splenda, it just, you don't have to use this. If you like things sweet, like I do, you want to taste more like ice cream, it'll definitely help out. Put that baby in there. And then casein protein. Now, this is a pretty important part because if you want it to taste like that, taste and have the consistency of ice cream, you're gonna want a casein protein because it's, it's much thicker when you blend up, like you'll notice even with shakes, it just tastes very thick. Plus, it's actually perfect before bedtime because it's a slow digesting protein, whereas like a whey protein or isolate uh, protein is uh, fast digesting. So perfect, you have to sustain, release protein uh, while you're fasting overnight in bed. So we're gonna throw a scoop and a half of this in there. This, I'm telling you, I just got this one. The, um, the Elite Casein, the cinnamon bun flavor in the ice cream is so unreal. So, so good. Um, and then next, we're gonna add a little teaspoon of guar gum. Let me just go grab a teaspoon real quick. So yeah, essentially what this is gonna do, um, this is gonna really thicken it up again, make it taste like ice cream. Key ingredient, I do recommend that you do get this. You can just go to the food store and get it. Uh, it'll be under your baking goods section, so go ahead. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of Weldon Farms chocolate syrup, calorie free, just for a little more taste. Toss that in there. And beautiful. All right guys, let's go ahead and uh, blend this baby up. So guys, one thing with this is you do have to scrape the sides and blend it a lot. It does take like five minutes to blend all together because it's so thick, right? So you gotta keep scraping the sides of the blender to make sure everything blends and you get that nice thick consistency. So I'll have to do this a few times, but uh, at the end, 
It'll look really good and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. We just finished blending up the ice cream and you can kind of see it even looks very thick. It's really molded. When you pull this out, you can tell, look at that. Definitely looks like ice cream. This is the way the doctor says to do it. And uh, we gotta do the test. Yep, it's good. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for this. And I'll put the macros on the screen for everything I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so just letting you know, uh, it's around 2,600 calories. I've been dieting for around two to three weeks now, like two and a half weeks. And uh, I'm taking it slowly down, not crash dieting. Uh, it's worked well for me. I've also been running five miles a day and doing 15 minutes of walking, so I run an hour total of cardio. I'm definitely burning off in calories and then I'm losing weight at a perfect pace. So that's what I recommend you guys do. Uh, I hope this gave you a good frame of reference for calories and uh, low calorie dense foods that you can enjoy. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next video.